Why and how did Australia become a nation? In the late 19th century, Australia consisted of six British colonies. Each colony had its own laws and different ways of doing things. For example, different railway gauges and postage stamps. These differences led to discussions about the benefits of uniting as a nation. In addition, matters of defense, foreign policy, immigration, trade, transport, and national pride were growing in importance among the colonies. Combining all colonies into one nation would make life easier for pretty much everybody. In 1889, Sir Henry Parks, Premier of New South Wales Colony, was the dude who helped it make it come together by giving a famous speech called the Tenterfield Address. In 1891, Parks gathered all the colony premiers, including New Zealand's, to create a constitution for the Commonwealth of Australia. In 1898, a constitution bill was drafted, combining a lot of hard work and meetings with different colonies in different states, such as Adelaide, Sydney, and Melbourne. In this time, Parks kicked the bucket, and Edmund Barton, the premier of New South Wales, became the de facto leader of the Federation campaign. In 1901, the Commonwealth of Australia became a thing. This happened via all states voting and permission from Queen Victoria in Great Britain. Edmund Barton became a caretaker prime minister, appointed by Earl of Hopetown. Earl of Hopetown was Australia's first governor general. The following day, Hopetown proclaimed the Commonwealth of Australia at a ceremony at Centennial Park, Sydney. Barton was re-elected prime minister in the first federal election, 1901. The first federal parliament was opened by Duke of York in the Melbourne Royal Exhibition Building on the ninth of May, nineteen o one. One of the first things it did was enshrine white Australian policy in law, and the indigenous culture of Australia were not included in all of this, but are now recognised and respected as the rightful people of Gundawana land. Yay! I'm done. <laughs>